This video presentation is all about how coastal headland erosion takes place from geomorphic processes. We will look at how the headland features are formed through the different erosional processes. You may have studied Flamborough Head in East Yorkshire or Old Harry located on the foreland in Dorset. These chalk headlands are both formed in the same way and so the same geomorphic processes apply to both. You will need to be able to locate your chosen headland, so pause the show now and make a note of its location using these maps. E.g. Old Harry is part of the Foreland headland in Dorset. You can see a few of the geomorphic processes here. On the left there is the salt solution slowly dissolving the rocks over time. On the right you can hear hydraulic action taking place as the water forces the air through the holes. The main erosional process though is abrasion, which is a lot harder to show. This is because it's when the sea picks up rocks as its bed load and bashes them against the sides of the cliff, making lots and lots of erosion. Why not pause the tape now and think about these different processes? Cracks near the base of the chalk headland by the wave cut notch start to become eroded. Cracks at the base of the headland widen through abrasion to form a cave. The cave then becomes larger through hydraulic action until it breaks through and creates an arch. The arch over time widens until the roof eventually collapses, leaving a stack such as Old Harry. Over time, this stack will be eroded away to leave a stump at the base. Mechanical weathering from the sky and chemical weathering from the sea will gradually make the stump disappear. But new features will start to form once again in the headland. Here we can see some images of Old Harry at low tide. Remember, most of the erosional processes occur at the base of the cliff around the wave cut notch. The notch is shown as the most worn away part of the cliff, where the sea regularly attacks it through abrasion in storms and the salt water solution dissolving the base. This is an overview of the points discussed in the show. The bullet points, as seen here, provide you with the main facts that you need to know. Why not pause the show and check your understanding? Making revision cards is a good way to help you remember this case study. Why not try and draw a headland and then label it? Then have a go at the exam question based on this case study, making sure you recall and use all about geomorphic processes. <laughs>